And let's turn for the first time to Acts 10. We are prepared for today's reading by the two notable miracles performed by Peter in Acts 9. Acts 10 There was a man in Caesarea named Cornelius, who was a captain in the Roman army regiment called the Italian Regiment. He was a religious man. He and his whole family worshipped God. He also did much to help the Jewish poor people and was constantly praying to God. It was about three o'clock one afternoon when he had a vision in which he clearly saw an angel of God come in and say to him, Cornelius. He stared at the angel in fear and said, What is it, sir? The angel answered, God is pleased with your prayers and works of charity and is ready to answer you. And now send some men to Joppa for a certain man named Simon, who is also called Peter. He is a guest in the home of a tanner of leather who is also named Simon, who lives by the sea. Then the angel went away, and Cornelius called two of his house servants and a soldier, a religious man who was one of his personal attendants. He told them what had happened and sent them off to Joppa. The next day, as they were on their way and coming near Joppa, Peter went up on the roof of the house about noon in order to pray. He became hungry and wanted something to eat. While the food was being prepared, he had a vision. He saw heaven opened and something coming down that looked like a large sheet being lowered by its four corners to the earth. In it were all kinds of animals, reptiles, and wild birds. A voice said to him, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, Certainly not, Lord. I have never eaten anything ritually unclean or defiled. The voice spoke to him again. Do not consider anything unclean that God has declared clean. This happened three times, and then the thing was taken back up into heaven. While Peter was wondering about the meaning of this vision, the men sent by Cornelius had learned where Simon's house was, and they were now standing in front of the gate. They called out and asked, Is there a guest here by the name of Simon, who is also called Peter? Peter was still trying to understand what the vision meant when the Spirit said to him, Listen, three men are looking for you, so get ready and go down, and do not hesitate to go with them, for I have sent them. So Peter went down and said to the men, I am the man you're looking for. Why have you come? They answered, Captain Cornelius sent us. He is a good man who worships God and is highly respected by all the Jewish people. An angel of God told him to invite you to his house so that he could hear what you have to say. Peter invited the men in and had them spend the night there. The next day he got ready and went with them, and some of the believers from Joppa went along with him. The following day he arrived in Caesarea, where Cornelius was waiting for him, together with relatives and close friends that he had invited. As Peter was about to go in, Cornelius met him, fell at his feet and bowed down before him. But Peter made him rise. Stand up, he said. I myself am only a man. Peter kept on talking to Cornelius as he went into the house where he found many people gathered. He said to them, You yourselves know very well that a Jew is not allowed by his religion to visit or associate with Gentiles. But God has shown me that I must not consider any person ritually unclean or defiled. And so when you sent for me, I came without any objection. 
I ask you then, why did you send for me? Let's pray together. Lord, we are amazed at your purposes and the things that you have done. You chose a race of people that was stubborn, and that race of people has continued to be hateful right down to the present time to most of the rest of the human race. But you chose them and had a plan for them because of your promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You had a plan beyond them. And so you said that the gospel of the kingdom would be delivered starting in Jerusalem and then Samaria and to people from every ethnic group on earth. Here we see the beginning of it finally coming to the non-Jews. You showed to Peter by a vision that you showed him three times to make sure he understood that he must not consider any person ritually unclean or defiled. And so you accepted us, and you gave us the news of the kingdom that we could be saved by the one who fulfilled all the requirements of the old covenant for us, Jesus. How amazing that is for us. We thank you, Lord, that we live not by bread alone, but by every word that comes from your mouth. 